and green technology. Some analysts say it is now a potential takeover target. So let's discuss that. Cornelia Meyer is with us, Chief Executive of Meyer Resources. That's an energy consultancy. She was also a former senior executive at BP. Cornelia, always good to have you with us. And talk to me then about that dilemma that the new boss finds himself in. He has a, a, a debate here, doesn't he, about where the investment will come. Continue to put money into green investments that are costly and may not pay off straight away or go down that familiar route of fossil fuels, which investors seem to like, but is not deemed to be the future. Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, Tom, for having me. Well, you know, where we are is you are damned if you do and you are damned if you don't. Some investors would prefer for BP to do more on the green agenda and others, um, you know, sort of more activist investors who are after the quick short term return um, favor the, the, the fossil fuel, the hydrocarbon some strategy. And I think BP is trying to walk a middle way. And they have to straddle that middle way. Your next story is about the net zero targets of Europe. And BP is in Europe. It has big operations in Europe. It's FTSE listed, so it has to deal with European and UK regulators, which means they have to give in some. So in, in other words, they need to strike that delicate balance between just investing just enough into the, the, the green energy side and still investing in, um, in, in, um, in hydrocarbons. And I think they're doing a reasonable job at that, but it's a really, it's a really hard task to, to, to fulfill. Yes, and you talk about those activist investors. Shareholders getting pretty impatient, aren't they? They look at the share price falling. They make comparisons with the likes of Exxon. And they say, come up with the solution. Give us an answer. Because all the while, uh, while the share price is down, it makes them a potential takeover target. Absolutely. And when you look at that, I'm not so sure they take over target because if I look at anti-competition laws, I'm not sure. I think BP is, it would be a very, very big, big, um, big thing to swallow. But it's, it, it is. But if it's, it's a little bit unfair to compare them to the Exxons and the Chevrons of this world because they, they really operate in a North American regulatory environment, which is very different, right? They like fracking. They like doing things that you couldn't do in Europe. So, so um, it's harder for the BPs, the Shells and the Totals to triangulate the thing of being an energy company in hydrocarbons, but also being in the renewable space. And the one thing that, um, that I would like to say, it's also the DNA of BP. Remember in 2000 or 1998, the then CEO, Lord Brown, came out and said, we are beyond petroleum. We are looking at what's happening beyond um, using hydrocarbons. So looking at the looking at the at the at the at the at the greener uh, sort of energy is part of the dna and by the way uh, they they the, the current numbers had the share price rise five percent mainly because they said we'll do a lot of share buybacks and when you make the comparison between europe and the us it is not a level playing field they're operating in a very different regulatory environment uh, do you think it would make sense further down the line for the likes of shell and total and bp to operate a formal tie-up or indeed a merger to take on the power of some of those us giants well, yes, but you know they can. They, it would be probably more be a, a matter of the U.S. giants taking on the Europeans. And as a as a as a convinced European, I still would like to see some of the big companies, and especially some of the big energy companies, to be European. And you, as I said, your next story is about the the road or the race to net zero. So the BPs, the Shells, and the and the Totals need to be part of that. Yeah. So we can't really penalize them if they're trying to be part of that. Cornelia, always good to have you with us. Thank you uh, for that uh, insight. Cornelia Meyer there from Meyer Resources. And Cornelia mentioned, Andy,